Good evening, everyone. So, first of all, my microphone. I fixed it. It sounds great now. There's no background noise. Second of all, my previous video with the flipping, uh, this is what I have got from last night to this morning. Um, pretty good, pretty good. So if you want to check that video out, I would definitely recommend doing so. Uh, so this video is about little things in Tarkov that you will either pick up playing the game or just stumble across but it's little things that make that enhance the pvp kind of thing like you're not it's not where are the key locations and how to kill this boss and how to do this it's more like little tidbit information that you, into like bite-sized chunks that you can use um running around the map um navigating doing all this kind of stuff um things that you'd pick up it's, it's more for like beginner players but it not not so much this for beginner players that you as a as a veteran you would pick something up that you otherwise may or may not have known now, obviously i am not perfect no one is i'm going to miss things but these are the things that i have found and without further ado let's get into it so starting off at customs i will quickly show you a few locations and or a few things that you might want to think about when you're playing the game uh, straight away i am at the red warehouse i am the top of this train and with a sniper, you become extremely deadly, as you can see, down to the end by the first stream cross. You also have this stream cross here. You can see part of the end of the bridge. You can also see a lot of people moving around over at the back over here. Um, a lot of scouts walk this way. A lot of people that spawn this side tend to quickly rush. You might catch them in the back if you're up here, but be wary. You are invisible by these windows, which you can get into. Also, a lot of activity in this area. Okay, so I'm at dorms. I'm at floor two at the three-story dorm building. I uh, would like to take this opportunity now to talk about animations. So in this game, um, various animations in various sequences allow you to do two things at once. Uh, so if I want to check my mag, but also open the door, you can do so. See what I mean? Uh, it raises the actions per minute. You know, you're more likely to survive rather than opening the door, then checking your mag, etc. etc. You can also do that reloading. Another one is things take time to, animations take a bit of time. So this, this, this is a good example here. So if I shut these doors, usually these are shut when you're here. Now this is a dangerous lock spot because you've got that door which you can walk through, that door which you can walk through, the stairs. There's a lot of activity, a lot of scavs, and there is a tasty box here. Now, what do you do? Do you wait here like this and it be exposed to both angles? Well. There's an animation on the box that enables you, it opens up, but that gives you a brief time to control the character in that in that brief time before you get into the menu. So when I'm here, if you hit it and then walk, and now I'm, I'm looting, but I'm now completely safe from the long alley. And this is used um, in various locations on the map. Another good example of using this animation um, exploit, I say exploit, it's not really, it's sort of the animation, uh, is this box here. It's a great box, you can get an AK-74 out of it, which could turn the tide in a, in a firefight, you never know. But you're you're right out here on the open, in the, on the roof, you know, you've got people all around you. Uh, this is always busy, people always looking, you've got the enemy, enemies in these uh, top floor here, scabs sometimes, they'll fire at you. It's it's a pretty bad box, right? But it's not. It's fine usually if you're just if you're just here like this. It's scary, you know. You could get attacked from any any angle, any angle. So what you do is in that time it takes for the box to open, you walk back and crouch like that. And as you can see, you're far less exposed than you were standing up a few meters forward but it does help it does help because the people in the front doors can barely see your head you know it's that it's that tiny advantage that you get from using that animation but it does save your life someone may have may not have spotted you now because they can only see the top of your head as opposed to your whole body and the and the box opening so it's just something to think about one of the best keys in dorms by far is the marked room key uh, it's on the top floor of the three-story dorms. Uh, it has the potential to spawn quite good loot. However, it's very 
people rush this a lot, so be warned if you're not here first, expect resistance or anyone here. Uh, this key has the potential to give you key tools, weapons, um, an SV98 in this case, which is what, like 100k? I think around 90k actually. Um, so it's just a, it's an all around good key. It's quite cheap now when the game just wiped again. It was probably like 800k, but the key has gone down quite a bit. Um, but like I said, it is very, very active. It's probably one of the most active keys on the map. So be warned about that. Now, I'll give you a scenario quickly. You've just ran the marks room and oh shit, there's people coming. You know there's people coming. The only way for you to go safely is either down there, which you know where they are, or down the stairs, which you know Rishala has spawned and you're up here somehow without him noticing. So there is a way off this roof without taking any, well, much damage or ne like negligible damage, so it doesn't even affect your legs. Uh, I found that if you, it's quite, it can be quite consistent, but there are some times where you fuck it up and you will take damage on your legs. So also if you, if your movement is already impaired, um, it makes it even more inconsistent. If you just get on this white box here, crouching would help, and then you run and sprint into this window ledge and then into the next one going down. You're fine. I've taken damage, but again, like I said, it's negligible. I've taken like 15 points of damage. I can heal that up, and I'm away. I've got out. You know, they they think I'm still up here. I'm gone. The thing you could do is go inside here, get in one of these buildings, wait for them to come out and check you, and just kill them across. Simple as that. One more thing to point out is the length of your weapon. So, in dorms, everything is very close quarters. You know. Uh, you're, you're going door to door, you're like next to each other in walls and stuff. If you see my gun is like put, being pushed into the screen just because I'm like right next to it. So I brought three different length weapons, obviously a pistol, an SMG with a suppressor. And as you can see, it's like kind of bumping and I'm, I'm, I'm quite, quite far, I'm considerably from the wall, but I'm still bumping into it. So it's just something to, something to think about when you're running dorms, you know, you want a close range weapon. Uh, especially on these doors because if you're like this and you know you have to ADS that's your main problem if you want to aim you want to get close to it it gets a bit it gets a bit funky so it's it's something to think about and also just for extreme measures I bought a shotgun with a huge barrel I'm like halfway in the in the door and I'm bumping on onto it right now so it's just something to think about um, when you're running dorms if you want to run it geared um, just think about the length of your weapon because it can really be a pain Okay, so two keys of note in the two-story dorms would be 114 and 110. Um, two reasons. They have behind them 114 and 110. They are right next to each other and both of them have safes in. And safes you can get quite, 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 quite good loot, um, just some money. Um, of note, you could also find yourself some rubles. Uh, specifically 3k which enable you to get out of Dormsby exit now I just got 3k so I can now run myself to Dorms V exit and spend those 3k getting out here if I've been given the roadblock size form something to mention here that um, I guess that I can nutshell for you is if you've been given a spawn on this side of the map so anywhere from the right hand side of Dorms anywhere on this side at all you can use dorms v exit if it's open it requires 3k rubles however if you've been given any side any spawn that side of the map anything beyond dorms that side i.e you're over by the gas station you're over at a zb you can use a, another something to mention here that um i guess that i can nutshell for you is if you've been given a spawn on this side of the map so anywhere from the right hand side of dorms anywhere on this side at all you can use dorms v exit if it's open it requires 3k rubles however if you've been given any side any spawn that side of the map anything beyond dorms that side i.e you're over by the gas station you're over at a zb you can use a, another x fill um that that is over here which i will show you right now
Okay, so the spawn isn't here, but usually what you will see is a fire, smoke, and a boat. And that's when that's how you know that this is open, smuggler's boat. So once again, if you're on the if you spawn on the right hand side of dorms, which is anywhere here, you can go for dorms V exit with 3k rubles if it's open. And if you spawn on the left side of dorms, anywhere by ZB, any by the ZB bunkers, anything by the gas station or the huge like two hold wall, you can take smuggler's boat if you're running dorms for loot. Okay, so I'm at the gas station now. Um, one thing to note is say you're running a map and you're out of meds, you've got no meds whatsoever. Um, there is a nice little weapon spawn, uh, med spawn in here. So you go inside, open up this door. And it's in here. The the meds, there's two med boxes in here. You could find exactly what you need. So you're bleeding, so you need a splint, some morphine, or anything like that. It's in that in that room. Okay, so say that you are on a loot run and you have been given this spawn, which is the ZBO 12 spawn, I believe, or ZBO 1. But anyway, you're this you're the ZB side of the of customs. A useful box that you can quickly open up is over here. I will show you. Um, nice to check these shelves for a battery and also check the coat for any keys. Um, I think a few keys spawn, but you have a box right here. Okay, so that just about wraps it up for customs. I obviously have missed quite a few things that I have deemed um, a little less unimportant or a few obvious um, keys and like rooms of note, but I just wanted to give you some some knowledge, uh, some some things that you can you can use to think about um, within customs. Uh, when I started this making this video, I intended to do all the maps in like short, snappy little cuts and edits, but I realised that there's a lot to do, <laughs> so I might break them down into different maps. So if anyone watching this would like to see me do shoreline or labs, uh, any of those, I can do so. Um, I also I was also going to add some attachment. Um, tips into here like just a few attachments that you could use uh, but again there are a lot to go through I didn't realize the scale of what I was what I was embarking on when I made this video so if you want to see an attachment video or anything like that um, the, the point of the video I wanted to make about the attachments was it's more attachments that aren't too expensive things that you can easily throw on things that aren't just stupidly complicated you know, like like a site. You know, like a, a rail for a site. This so you can keep coming back and keep buying the same rail, the same site, etc., etc. Um, I don't want to like explode you with recoil, vertical recoil, and ergonomics and all that stuff. I just wanted, you know, for for new players coming in, like going, holy crap, there's so many attachments. Like, what do I put on? I just wanted to make a video saying, hey, look, it's actually quite easy. You can just put a 22 meter of rail on a shotgun, and you know, have a have, have a sight on it you know you can slap a suppressor at the end of this and all that and all that stuff so if you want to see that kind of video um, just let me know I think I will end this video here so if you have enjoyed or if there's something that I've missed that is of huge importance um, obviously I didn't talk about keys as well uh, just let me know down in the comments and if you want to see any of the other maps and also the attachment video I was thinking about doing um, just let me know